Well, from Omani, let's get back to our conversation with Professor Keya, the chairman of the Coffee Task Force, who is still with us live from i and uh, And Professor, just picking it off from where we left it, you were talking about some of the key pillars that uh, came out of the particular report. And what's way forward in terms of Correct. implementing this and ensuring that uh, the sector is able to be sort of given a, a kick so that we can get better earnings for coffee farmers? I think if I can put more succinctly, is we need to pay the farmer fairly and on time. What I mean fairly uh, is that these farmers need to be paid a uh, price that are able to meet their production cost. At least make a, uh, an extra shilling for that. And then uh, time means uh, that they should be paid time. Because what is happening you know, currently is that not only that the farmers don't know even how much is going to be paid, but they even don't know when that payment will be made. So in a nutshell, this report is calling for some structural changes that will allow us uh, to ensure that uh, the production of coffee increases, but at the same time, we provide subsidy in such a way that uh, uh, the farmer is relieved the burden of productions as well as the processing cost, uh, so that again, uh, that can give them incentive to start growing coffee again. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking at uh, re the recommendations that are coming out of this particular report, and uh, right now the coffee farmers have also been rooting for them to have a direct market in terms of uh, the way the coffee trade is structured. Do you think this will go a long way in trying to sort of uh, fix the existing issues in the sector? Precisely, yes. Uh, again, what we did with this report is that uh, we went uh, and consulted the farmer. We requested for uh, memorandum for more key stakeholders. And actually what you are getting is precisely that uh, um, um, what the farmers are getting is not reasonable enough to uh, give the incentive to grow uh, 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 coffee even marketing. You mentioned two things uh, or two areas that, uh, uh, the, uh, two, two avenues that the farmers have been uh, using to market their coffee. The one is through the uh, Nairobi Coffee Exchange, uh, and also the other one is direct sales. The direct sale is uh, um, mainly deal with what we call a special coffee, and uh, we recommended that uh, uh, maybe we can push that. Is right now it's about uh, you know five percent. But we, we, we propose that we can uh, set a policy goal to push that to about 20%. Because the direct sale uh, tend to fetch a little bit more money uh, and tend to deal with more so on high quality coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, Prof, looking at uh, the bigger picture mm. right now, the coffee sector has also suffered the wrath of the middlemen who end up uh, fleecing farmers when it comes to getting a decent return on uh, the crops once the, the berries have been picked from the farms. Um, do you think uh, there needs to be a better uh, structure in terms of uh, uh, cutting off the middlemen so that we ensure that uh, the, farm, the farmers are actually able to get a better price uh, once uh, we're able to improve the markets? Well, I, I think you're getting you're absolutely right. Uh, what we found was uh, a very wrong uh, value chain that with a lot of actors uh, are in place. The problem we found is not that how many, there are so many you know, agents along the value chain. The, the, the fundamental problem is what we call the principal agent problem. The farm happened to be their principal because he owned the coffee. Any other person who deal with coffee along the value chain are an agent. But what is happening though is that the agent has more information than the farmer. So, and so consequently, these agents are using the information uh, you know, uh, you know, to you know, make a, a better deal for themselves. Um, and what you know, the report recommended, we need to restructure uh, the value chain in such a way that mm -hmm. uh, the farmer has information about their, the value of their crop, as well as the quality, and also the pricing of that, uh, you know, that commodity. 
And so this animates from, again, the recommendation we made of restructuring or modernizing the Office of Exchange uh, with an idea of converting it to commodity exchange where there is a better way of discovering the pricing. In other words, the market, uh, I mean, the, the, the sellers and the buyers or the coffee have got the right information when they're making uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting insights there, Professor. We appreciate uh, your yeah. time and uh, your valued input over this all-important conversation okay. of coffee. And we do hope uh, that uh, the report findings will be implemented to the core.